Carla says her three-year-old son told her that his father, Latik, touched him inappropriately. <laughs> At that time, Carla ignored the situation, but now her son is giving her more details about the sexual abuse. <laughs> and this time, Carla says she's taking the right steps. I believe Latik abused my son. What type, what three-year-old uses the word disrespect? I swept it under the rug the first time. The baby, and, and early in the day, the baby was walking around the house funny like, you know, talk about my butt hurts. Dude was real quick, oh, come on, let's go in the bath. Immediately, right? Put the baby in the bath. When he left for work, I felt some kind of way, so I asked the baby if daddy touches him, but um, the baby said, daddy disrespect me, right? What three-year-old uses the word disrespect? You know, that's a big word for a three-year-old. You understand? Like, he must have really felt disrespected for him to say disrespect, right? Um, Latik is the greatest father up until now. I'm going to... He you know, has been a great he father. He has been the greatest father any child could ask for. From birth, the only thing he did not do for them was breastfeed. Late-night feedings. Boy, he's a man. <laughs> Late-night feedings, diaper changes. You know, I have... So up until this point... Um, and when is the first time your son said this to you About that something happened? Three to four weeks ago. Three to four weeks ago. And then, like you said, uh, you didn't think much of it. You, you pushed it aside. But then your son said it a second time. Right. Um, I was in the bathroom and the baby was touching his butt. So I'm like, why you? And he kind of like put his head down a little bit. So um, I put a little bit of tone in my voice and I changed the question. I said, who touches your butt? So then the baby puts his head down and makes like a little um, movement with his mouth. And then he says to me, Hey, mom, why are you sleeping? Daddy puts his <laughs> Right? I died. He took it back. He said, oh, he only did it one time. Either way, whether every morning or one time, he never took it back that daddy touched him. He took it from every morning to only one time. Um, I called Latik immediately because, like I said, it was the second time. So I called him. It's like 11 in the morning. He's at work. He's like, oh, I can't leave. He reaches home around 4.30, 5 o'clock. I said, um, I know you be feeling like I'm going off the deep end all the time, and I'm a hothead, and, you know, you feel like I be making stuff up and everything, and sometimes um, the things, are, you know, that I say are not true. But um, the baby told me that you touched him, but Steve, let me tell you what this man did. Who else do you have in this house? He never once said, no, I didn't. So who else is here? Who else do you have here? Then, I, you know, I said, no one or whatever, right? He leaves out, says, I'm going to the store. I said, all right. He comes back with 20 minutes later and gives me a box set of perfume. Now, let me tell you how this man is a guilty gifter. Holidays come by, birthdays come by, I never get a gift. The only time I get a gift from him is when I'm mad, he messed up. He, you know what I'm saying? Oh, please don't be mad at me no more. Here's a gift. So he gives me the perfume and he says, um, I'm not giving this to you because I'm guilty because you always think I'm, I give you stuff when I'm guilty. This night, he brought me the perfume. He brought the, our one-year-old son some candy and he didn't buy anything for the baby who said he was touching him. So I, you know, I'm taking this in, into play because I feel like, so what you mad at him because he told me? I am an emotional wreck because I feel like his lack of response of a response is like high sirens. Like I did it, I did it. They interviewed your child, right? And they 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 determined that there wasn't uh, a positive or negative. Or result. negative, it was kind right? Of like, In between, like right. it could have happened or it couldn't have happened. Like right. you know. So, but the thing is, is that I let the child advocate know that I feel he intimidated the baby when he approached the baby without me. Now, is Latik living with you now? Uh, no, he oh, had he's to, not. Went, no, uh, uh, the allegations happened last week, Tuesday. No, Wednesday. He's been out of my home since then. Okay. Um, <laughs> and since he's been out, has he seen his son? Yeah, two days ago. So, so but you were there? Yeah. Right. Um, do you believe that Latik did this, that he, you know, digitally penetrated your son? Yeah. You do believe this? Yes, I believe it. Um, and how long you been with Latik? Since um, October of 07. So eight years. Give it Almost, take. almost eight years. Mm -hmm. 
Um, any chance that you're making this story up? Why would I make this up against this man who helped me raise two of my other children? All right, well, his sister, Shelly, mm -hmm. she's here. Let's, uh, let's bring her out. First off, you're lying. Lying up about saying what? that he would never, like, oh, he brought one kid some and then by the other. No, I'm That's talking about lies. that night, that you night in particular. You wasn't the there that Which night? Which one is it? Is he a molester or is he a good father? Because he you can't be both. Um, Shelly, are you close with your brother? Yes, that's okay. like my best friend. He's your best friend. Uh, do you think he's capable of abusing his own son? No. Even before this, everybody in the family been was telling him, leave her alone because she's going to do something and she keep, every time like she get mad with him, don't come near my kids. Oh, I'm going to call that's the cops true. on you. This, that, and the third. So then when it's like, and then. So he, even before this incident happened, She's you always been coming, trying to find okay. reasons to keep them away. Do you think Carl was making this up? Yeah, I really do. If she fails, I mean, obviously you'd feel the same way about it because you don't like her. Oh, I mean, it wouldn't be a surprise right. because it's not the first time. Well, let's meet your brother, Latik. Let's bring him out. I would never touch my child, Steve. Latik, she says that uh, up until this allegation that you are a really good father, uh, you were helping raise uh, children that she had from previous relationships. But I, at the end of the day, like, I had my own, her own kids in my, in my custody to do whatever I wanted with, boy and girl. So for me to do it to my, wait for my own flesh and blood years later to act out, it just don't make sense. Right. Uh, she tells a story that she confronts you. You know, you kind of sat there and you said, who else is in the house? You went out, you bought a perfume, and your other child something, but not your three-year-old. Okay. That right there, she kind of got the story mixed up. I bought her something only. It was another time I bought my um, other two kids something. But as far as um, buying her perfume, being guilty, that wasn't at all the case. And I explained that to her. But it was too But how do you go out and buy someone a perfume? They just accuse you of molesting their child. But it was too obvious. You know, you know, that's too obvious. Like, she was already crying. I already had plans to buy her a, a, something nice. She was crying, feeling upset or whatever. And like I said, I felt like it was, you know, I didn't do, I know I didn't do nothing. So I'm like, to cheer her up, I went out to buy, buy her perfume, you know? Because that was already in the works until she called me home saying what she had to say. So, and you know. And you went to the doctor, doctor, uh, investigation was open to this doctor didn't find anything. Uh, the investigation came back inconclusive. Um, any chance you making this up? It's a good chance you might be making it's it up. It's a good chance. It's a good chance. I mean, because I don't know where my kids, where, where my son would get this from. Right. Um, when's the last time you saw your son? Like a day or two ago. Um, and how but, was he with you? He was good, like normal. Like normal. Like you know? normal. We, yeah. And normal is what? Normal Happy, just, being sit, around we, his dad? We sat right next to each other. We talked. You know, he got up. He played, running around our house. That kind of thing. Right. First off, if he really touched him, don't you think that he would not, he would probably attach to her more and not want to be around him? Right. But if he's still acting normal and acting like the silly kid that he is, how, wh not where's that Latika is letting him know everything? What let you're doing him is know okay. Wait, wait. You said right now. Let's find out. 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 If you want to tell your story on the Steve Wilco Show, visit the link in the description to get my help. Did you make up the story that Latik touched your son in a sexual manner? She answered no. Did you coach your son to say that Latik touched him in a sexual manner? She answered no. And the results for her lie detector test, the results came back the same to each question. And they came back that Carla told the truth. I told the truth. Hello. I told the truth. Thank you. Let me do the curtsy. Latik, you came here to clear your name. You're accused of sexually molesting your own son. Right. You took a lie detector test and we asked you, have you ever sexually touched your three-year-old son? You answered no. And the results for your lie detector test is that Latik, you told the truth. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you. I want to hear your reaction that Latif passed his lie detector test. I'm, I'm glad. Like, I'm really freaking relieved. Like, Really, I apologize, but I had it to nah, do nah, what nah, I had it to no do apology. for the baby. You're alive. At the you're end you're of the day, I'm not alive. alive. If it came out that I told because the truth, the case, I told you the truth. You went away in three to four weeks to do what you had to do. I told the truth. You went away in three to four weeks to do what you had to do. Now I did because I ain't that you were good for the baby. So for the baby to say what he said was something else. I want to hear the tick. Accused of your own son, because I can only think of my own relationship with my son, and to be accused of something like that has to. Hurt. Rip you apart. Hurt. Uh, knowing, you know, coming here, and it's got to be a little embarrassing for you to a lot of people right. watching this. You pass this lie detector test. What, what, what do you feel? I feel good. I, I mean, I've been where I was going to pass. You know, I know I didn't never do nothing. That's why I from jump, I asked her who else you had to have in the house because it just didn't make sense to me. Right. You know? Um, uh, and, and, and I would say this. Uh, I'm, I'm glad that you came here and you cleared your name. But if your son is actually saying things like this... We need uh, to find out where might, it's coming right, from. Right, and it's got to be coming from somewhere. Exactly, uh, you, and that's what I said to lying. him. Obviously, you're not lying. He's not lying. You're both telling the so truth. So that's what I said to him. Right. Steve, I um, said, look, if you didn't do it, then let's figure out who did. Right. Mm -hmm. you got to go home and figure it out. So I am just curious, what happens between the two of you now? They go their own way. Yep. Right. That's just it. You go your Keep own it way. Right. All right, good luck to you. Thank Thanks. you, Thanks Steve.